Well, this is it. Hell sweet hell. Eleven minutes, dude. You have got to be kidding me. Eleven minutes into how many in a pack? Well, we've just lost our parents. We live in a shack, and we really don't have any money. And so, instead of freaking out and wasting our energy, we have a free pass to do whatever we want. Let's go for a walk. Walk. Just come in. My friend Rajinder. Rajinder, this is Malla. Why not? <laughs> so, Captain Optimism, <laughs> that was pretty cool. What you did today? Oh yeah, I knew you'd be intrigued. Why do it, Arya? What do you mean? Why care, really? Like, why help somebody else when we need to be helped? If we go on helping people at this rate, we'll be helping people from here all the way to Mesopotamia. <laughs> That's a mar big word. But what, like, what are you talking about? What help and support system do you have to help Rajinder? Ever heard the saying? No one has ever become poor by giving. See, when you look at life from a me standpoint, it's constant thinking and worrying and many a time fighting to be able to keep yourself afloat. We end up doing so much for something that amounts to so little. There are always people less fortunate than we are. You okay? If you did that on purpose, you're a sore loser. <laughs> I was just checking to see whether you were sleeping. I've learned so much about life from Rajinder. Society says he's been stripped down to nothing and has no mind or money or future. But do you see the way he lights up when you roll your eyes at one of his jokes? He doesn't really need any of those things that people say he needs to feel happy or valuable. Which is why I believe that the only way to really live fully is to give of myself. I don't need a PhD to love and help someone. And as for my support system, I have you. Institute of Mental Health. How may I be of service? Hi. Um, my name is Sasha, and I'm calling concerning my boyfriend. I just need some advice and help because over the past few weeks he's been acting strange, like he's not in control of himself. He starts twitching randomly and shakes, and sometimes he just knocks things over, doesn't speak full words. He seems to be getting more violent, emotional, and like rough. I don't know what it is or what to do. That's why I'm calling. I'm scared he may be a danger to society or worse, to himself and I just want him to be taken care of. I don't have the means and he's living with his little brother in some apartment. His parents died a few months ago. Would you please give me some help? I, I don't know what to do. The updated report, Doctor. Thank you very much. Well, Mr. De Silva, seems like you've been making some excellent progress. Must be that optimistic spirit of yours. Thank you.